Cool's PC Gen enthusiast. This is Andrew Maitland with PC Gen coming at you with another tutorial. Uh, we're going to do installable data sets that we uh, occasionally provide when our release schedule uh, dictates that it's going to be a bit before we send out any new material. As you can see, I have our SourceForge Net Projects PC Gen page up, and I've already navigated here to the PCZ files which is found in the PCGen stable data sets and this is for the 6041 release. And as you can see I have Pathfinder Mythic Adventures here and then I have a bundle for Pathfinder here. Um, and quite a few downloads in the short period of time since we've announced those. So you click on either of those files to download them. The PCZ format is recognized in our PCGen. So you can click install data and then you would select the location, click your PC Gen, and let's see here, we need to go up, into the OCC, and there's my Mythic Adventures, and as you can see we support both the PCZ and the ZIP formats, so I click open, and I want to go into the data. And you could choose either data, your vendor data, or your homebrew data, because we have three different um, areas. And this little window here actually gives you more information. It's going to tell me that it's Mythic Adventures for 641. It was released January 5th, 2015. It's uh, Mythic Adventures. I should say by Pezo, but it's not there, unfortunately. And this is a, its own miniature PCC file, actually. And it's telling me that it includes the Mythic Adventure set in updated Beastry 1 and 3. And it's telling me where the path is. So you click install. And it goes through all the things. I say yes. And now it's successfully installed. At this point, I can install something else or I can close. And you close PC Gen down and you're good to go. Now, how do we make those files, you might ask yourself? Well, what you need is your install list file right here and as you can see it says exactly what I want to say right here in my campaign I'm telling it that its minimum version has to be for 6.4 and then the minimum developer version is 6.4.1 and then any information I want to be posted here and that's the info test so you have that install and then we have a data folder and the data folder is going to have the same directory structure that we want the file to be saved at. So I got Pathfinder, Pezo, Role Playing. There's my Beastry 1, Beastry 3, and Mythic Adventures. They're all inside the Role Playing Game folder. And as you can see, all the information is already in here. So we go all the way back up to my OCC. I click these two. wait for my little thing here to load up. This is doing the right context menu. <coughs> and I use 7-zip and I'm going to add it to OCC zip because it's going to use the name of the folder above it. And then I simply name my, my file to whatever I would like it to be called. So test example here. And there you go. I can send this file to any of my players, and now they will have an installable uh, data set and that any of my players can install to their PC Gen version. And data is not the only thing you can put in here. You can also do game modes. Um, actually, I would do system to game mode, um, output sheets, anything that you want to include. It basically will mimic the uh, directory structure. Of PC Gen, so make sure you put it in the right location. Uh, just a few reminders though, if this is something that might be overriding something else uh, that already exists, it will not remove existing files. So if you are deleting things, you might have to advise your players to uh, remove the data set that they are installing if it's a overwrite issue. And that's it for um, making your own install file. And one last thing I want to show is our locations. So you go into your PC Gen program and you can have your homebrew directory here. You can select that and your vendor. 
these are where your data files will can be situated. And that's pretty much all you need to know on how to get your data in there, where to install it, and how to make your, ins your own installable set. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope this was informative for you.